Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lesson, we will talk about the next type of matrix row operation, matrix row addition. Matrix row addition basically allows you to add one row of a matrix to the other. So we're adding all of the entries in one row of the matrix to all of the entries in the other row of the matrix. So I'm gonna write out the definition here. Row addition adding one row of the matrix of the matrix to another row of the matrix. So once the once you add one row to the other, this new sum is going to be your new row. So we're going to walk through an example. I know it can be a little confusing. So let's say we're given this three by three matrix. So we're giving this three by three matrix, three, one, two, four, one, one, three, two, two. I just randomly picked numbers, but you can pretty much pick whatever you want to. So let's say you're given this matrix. We'll call this matrix C, matrix C. We're gonna label all of the rows in matrix C. So let's say this is gonna be row one, this is gonna be row two, and this is going to be row three. So let's say you wanna combine rows one and two. How would we write that? We would write R sub one plus R sub two is going to become, and let's say you're trying to add row in one and two um, to make a new row two is going to be your new row two. And so what we would do here is I'm gonna write out the intermediate matrix, but because we're only really touching row one, sorry, we're only touching row two, we're not gonna to touch row one and we're not gonna to touch row three. So row one is gonna stay the same, three, one, two. Row three is gonna stay the same, three, two, two. The only entries that we are changing are in row two. So we'll first write out the original values of, oops, of row two. And then we're gonna add the values from row one. These have to be the corresponding values. So it'll be the value that's in the same column. So the value that's in the same column for the first column is going to be three. So we're gonna add three. The value that's in the second column is going to be one. And the value that's in the third column is going to be two. So I'm talking about these values right here. And so we're going to close this. This is your intermediate matrix. Intermediate matrix. I find that it's awful, often helpful to write it out. But if you don't want to write it out, you don't really have to write it out. Um, eventually, you might get to the point where you feel that you don't need to. But for right now, if you need to write out your intermediate matrix, no worries at all. So let's now write our new matrix C. So as before, your first row and your third row are the same. It's row two that's changed. And what we've done is we've added row one to row two. And so we're just gonna find the sum of these values. Four plus three equals seven, one plus one equals two, and one plus two equals three. We're going to close the matrix, and this is your new matrix C with the new values. These are, this is your no, new, this is the same row one, this is your new row two, and this is your, the same row three. We are going to walk through an example, another one, except I'm going to have you try this example first. So let's say I gave you this two by two matrix, two four, one, zero. Call this matrix B. I want you to apply the following matrix row operation of matrix row addition to this matrix. So I want row one plus row two is going to be the new row one. So take a second, pause, and try and answer this question on your own based on what you just learned. So hopefully you tried this new matrix uh, row addition um, and let's see what, how you did. 
So I'm going to first write out the intermediate matrix like before. Um, because we're not touching row 2, I'm going to rewrite row 2 as usual. And we are going to just look at row 1. So that's row 1 there, and we're adding the values from row 2 in the same column. So we're going to add 1 here, and we're going to add 0 here. I'm going to close the matrix, and I'm just going to label this as our intermediate matrix so we don't get confused. Intermediate matrix. Awesome. And then we're going to find the sum of the values for row 1. So we know 2 plus 1 equals 3, 4 plus 0 equals 4, and then our row 2 has stayed the same. So this is our new matrix B.